All right, welcome back to uh, Season 19 of Alliance War. So this is going to be War Number 2. We are up against ISO 8A. Uh, they're one of the tougher alliances. They did not go diverse, uh, so much tougher map than you would normally get against a diverse alliance. They are also running stubborn. So the first couple fights... Oops, I don't have the sound on. Uh, is just diversity garbage. Uh, there's a storm, and then there's a uh, Hulkbuster. So uh, two good fights to get a couple charges uh, to get Corvus going. I throw on the Cosmic Boost uh, because Storm glances, actually, and you don't crit much against her. Uh, but mainly because I was going to be taking Nick Fury on Node 23. Uh, so the Nick fight is actually uh, one of the tougher fights, and and uh, I didn't realize how much she glances. I actually couldn't get a parry, I remember. Uh, but you see, actually only four, four of the hits crit, that's not too bad. Uh, but right there, uh, only one hit crit, which is pretty crazy. I don't even know why I heavied. Uh, I think maybe it had something to do with like these charges, but all she gets is Furies, and who cares about Furies? So, yeah, I don't think I even realized she was getting Furies in the fight. Uh, but I'm down to actually two Glaive Chargers, so if this hadn't crit, uh, might have been in a little bit of trouble. Uh, but no big deals. Uh, easy charge. Um, next fight is a Hulkbuster again. This is just a nothing node. Uh, it's the like. I think this is also another Fury node. Yeah, Counter-Strike Fury, so just nonsense. I he is defensive, so he does trigger Stubborn. Uh, but again, you know, for the most part, on most nodes, uh, Stubborn is... Largely irrelevant. Um, there's a few situations. Uh, Doom Boss, for example, uh, it very much matters <laughs> that he's stubborn. Uh, that's it's what makes him such a tough boss. But on this node with a Hulkbuster, obviously, it does not matter. So the next fight, this is kind of the main event uh, of my war, um, is this Nick Fury on node 23. Um, I don't know why I put that on. Uh, I guess, why not? And I did use an Invuln. Uh, I was going to be taking two fights. So he's got Mixmaster, uh, Oscillate, which is pretty annoying, and this Aggression Prowess. So this Aggression Prowess, if you let it stack, and then he throws an SP1, can actually do even a ton of damage and even kill you through your block. So you got to be a little careful with his Aggression Prowess. And this doesn't mix very well with Oscillate, because in Oscillate, when he has... His armor up, he tends to turtle, um, as any defender would, uh, and then these can build up. So ideally, you want him to not have power uh, when he goes into oscillate uh, armor up mode, but it's hard to kind of control everything. The mix master uh, is why I brought Proxima. So Corvus, the way I start the fight with mix master is medium light light. That second light will trigger his evade, then parry and heavy. Uh, so that's the plan to start the fight. We had debated um, who to use here. We have two uh, rank 3 Omega Reds. And originally this fight was assigned to Lizer with her Omega. Then it was changed to Brett with his Omega because his is a higher SIG. Uh, his is SIG 200. And then it got changed to me uh, with Corvus. Uh, not sure why, but, you know, okay. Um... The matchup, and uh, I believe ex pretty much exactly what I told Taters was, in theory, the matchup is fine as long as nothing goes wrong. And if something goes wrong, uh, we are toast. So the plan, there was the medium light light, then get off the heavy. Uh, you can see how quickly those prowess build. Um, this charge is pretty fast. Uh, I only try to medium medium against him. Uh, the goal is to build to two bars of power. You always want him to, of course, have two bars of power. Now, right here, the reason why I paused this, uh, actually, I really slowed it down. This is really, really cool. Uh, one of w one way that most people don't realize uh, that you can actually kind of get a cheeky or cheap little intercept, uh, I believe people call it like a bank intercept, but there are certain champs that you can light intercept, so dash back out of their medium and then counter with a light attack anywhere on the map. Uh, you'll commonly see it against Killmonger, Annihilus, Korg. Um, there's other bunch of other champs you can do it against, Hulk, Ultron. 
But if you're up against the wall, up against your own wall, you can actually light intercept, I believe, every champion. Uh, I'm not sure how the double medium champs work, like a stealth spidey. But any regular champ, you can actually, uh, if you dex their medium, you can then use a light a counter attack. And so that's what Nick is actually going to do to me. So I slowed this down, I think, like one eighth speed. Uh, so here he's blocking, so everything is good. And then he goes out of his block and comes at me. And so I charge into him. He dexes my medium. And when he dexes my medium, he's able to counterattack me. Uh, so that was really, really cool. Um, <laughs> even though it kind of sucked, obviously, to uh, waste my entire indestructible. Um, I was hoping that I could, in the future of this fight, uh, tank an SP3 if necessary. Or, of course, if I like messed up against an SP2. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, hopefully it goes back to normal speed. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so he does, you can see right here, he's got his indestructible, so I need to parry him to get that off. Uh, I am baiting the SP2 because I um, want uh, him to throw it before you know I use my SP2. So I only have two glaive charges here, so it's actually a little risky. Um, because you need to have your Glaive Charge to throw an SB2. So I'm going to do a little bit of blocking. Uh, mostly I'm just waiting out his uh, armor up, because when he's got his armor up, he doesn't really attack. And because, of course, he's Nick Fury, so he's degening. Um, so I need to make sure, number one, that he doesn't have Stubborn active when I um, hit him. Because uh, if I throw the SB2 and he's got Stubborn, I'm dead. Uh, but I get the nice SB2 intercept. And that fight is over. So pretty cool fight. Um, really, really neat intercept that he got against me. Uh, you don't really see too much of that from the AI. But if you are ever stuck and you just can't get it in against your opponent, that is actually one way you can do it, is to dash back against their medium and then light hit them against the wall. Uh, so pretty neat. Uh, so this next fight is Black Widow. She is, of course, garbage. Uh, she's not hashtag defensive. Uh, did, did I not even read the nodes? Yeah, I basically went into this fight, like, not even thinking about it. Um, got a nice intercept there. Ooh, that was pretty pretty slick. Uh, dodged out of her SP1. Um, let that block hit me. Don't know why I did that. Should have just da dashed back. Uh, she has a weird heavy. I don't know if I'd ever even seen her heavy. Um, it keeps saying evade failed. I guess she can evade. Um I don't think I've ever seen her evade, so I don't know what that's about. But yeah, Black Widow, again, nothing, just waste of time. Uh, so the next fight, Stealth Spidey. Uh, kind of the same thing. This fight, I believe, went horribly. Uh, this is a rank three, actually. I don't think I didn't even realize that. Um, he's not defensive. Um, I wonder how much time passed if I still had my invuln up. I guess we'll find out when I get smacked in the face. So... Uh, of course, I have True Strike, so it doesn't matter. Um, he's not going to evade. So this node reduces your attack 60%, um, unless you intercept, I believe. And I'm really not going to try to intercept. I'm just uh, fighting it straight up, getting to my SP2. I think I'm pretty sure I messed up at, at some point in this fight. Let's see. Oh, yeah, right there. Get smacked. Um, of course, I did that just to build power because I knew I had the indestructible. Uh, just kidding. And uh, SP2, even with the uh, weakness, you know, it still does a good amount of damage and gives me back the power. So uh, pretty simple fight. Pretty kind of embarrassing to lose like 25% of my health. But uh, I was kind of so excited about the Nick fight. I didn't really take these two fights very seriously, in all honesty. Um, which is uh, not something you should ever do an alliance for. Uh, so this next fight, this is the Intercept Nova fight. And my plan is to use Doom. I took off Suicides. The plan was to use Doom and not Intercept. Uh, just to fight him straight up with Doom. Now, I will first warn you, I have no idea how to fight Doom. This fight is complete garbage. If you are somebody who gets offended at somebody who plays your favorite champion poorly, and Doom is your favorite champion, fast forward the video about three minutes. This is going to be a complete atrocity. Uh, at no point in the fight do I really have any clue what's going on. 
Um, also, with Doom, you need to do like those weird combos, the medium, medium, light, light, light stuff. And I suck at that. In just in general, I can't really do the uh, weird combos. Uh, so started okay, then I got parried. That was lovely. Uh, luckily, Doom is immune to crits. Uh, got the intercept. That was just to get rid of his uh, fury. And then the plan is to build to an SP3. Uh, I don't think he was shocked there. Don't know how I heavied him. Uh, but you can see I'm doing no damage. Um, this fight is in fast forward uh, for you. I should have probably tried to intercept before the SP3, but it just my plan going in was, okay, just play it straight up. Don't do anything. Uh, so that did 7%. Uh, so you can see I just butcher the rotation, uh, don't get the special one. Uh, then I finally get it. He went unblockable. I did not even know that he goes unblockable. Uh, I had only ever fought him with um, Sim Supreme, and Sim Supreme completely shuts him down, whereas Doom uh, really doesn't. Uh, Doom is much, much worse against him, at least in my opinion. Uh, the one advantage Doom has is if you get hit, hits don't do anything to him. Because uh, he's essentially immune to crits. Uh, but you can see that special one did like, I don't know, 200 damage. Uh, basically, the only damage I do is when my heavies crit, it does about 4k. And then the uh, special three does a little bit. So he's got his, his uh, fury, which sucks. Uh, I did push him to two bars because I remember, I feel like uh, with Doom, it's better if they have more power. Um, that could be incorrect, but I believe I remember that. Um, so butcher the combo again, I believe. Yeah, get kind of lucky there. He go he went unblockable. Don't know why. Um, I don't evade his specials because I don't know how. Uh, he almost dexed my uh, special special too. That would have been uh, quite a bummer. Um, but yeah, I actually do take him down. So complete horror show. I'm sure that was all completely wrong, but got through it. Um, so this next fight is a mole man. So kind of a little Corvus on Corvus action, as a, as Legacy would say. So I heal up both my champs, because I am going to use Doom for one more fight. Uh, there's a Hyperion mini boss. Uh, I should have used that 6k potion. I ended up using like a 3k and a 1200, which is uh, two 1200s, so stupid. But um, I'm going to boost. Uh, I did have Suicides on, because I wanted Suicides for, obviously, Corvus and for Doom. Uh, I didn't mean to use that 15% attack boost. Uh, I was really bummed I did that because uh, those are hard to get. Uh, don't know why I put on that cosmic boost. Um, I guess just donating to the Wasted Cosmic Boost uh, Foundation. Uh, I have four charges, so yeah, what the, I don't even know what I was thinking. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm kind of frazzled at my own stupidity. Oh, maybe it was because of the... Uh, Intercept node, yes, that's it. It's not my stupidity, it's the intercept node. I'm a genius, uh, obviously. And he's stubborn, so he will trigger the indestructible. Um, I blocked his, uh, what's it called? Special one to get rid of the stubborn. Uh, then I took some hits uh, to build my power, of course. Uh, that's the only reason to ever get hit. So again, he's gonna throw an SP1, I block it. And then I'm gonna get my SP2. Uh, it's not going to kill him, uh, but because of the power boost, uh, we're good. Uh, that was a very, very awkward in. Um, yeah, horrible, but he's down. Um, survived another fight. Damn, rewatching this, I uh, played kind of poorly <laughs> after that Nick fight. Ugh, I'm going to get made fun of quite a bit, uh, but that's okay. Most important thing is to not die. Uh, doesn't matter how you get there. Uh, so this last fight, or not, this last Corvus fight, um, is Green Goblin. He has um, unblockable special one. Uh, I, oh, I think I ended up thinking of, about like using a invuln boost because of that Hyperion, but I ended up not doing it. Used a special three defense boost. Um, don't know if they do anything, if they even work, but yeah, that's all I was going to use. Uh, so he's got power focus one. Um, is he defensive? He is not. Uh, but I didn't want him to throw special ones. Um, so the plan was to kind of turtle. Uh, I think I was rethinking using an invuln, but I ended up like saying no. You know, Doom. I've watched enough Clown Is Clown videos. Doom can take like three or four special threes, and we're fine. 
Um, so here I turtle, and that's going to be kind of the plan for this fight. Get a really cool intercept there. Uh, that was pretty neat. Don't know why I did a five hit combo, shouldn't have done that. Uh, then I'm just going to back off uh, beta heavy, and that is the fight. Um, easy. He never got his healing except for at the very end. Um, so yeah, pretty simple. And then for dessert, we are going to fight a Hyperion with Doom. Um, I asked Taters who I should use. Uh, he said both champs are fine. Uh, and because I am amazing with Doom, I decided to go with Doom. Uh, he is defensive, so he will trigger Stubborn. Uh, so the plan was just parry heavy, uh, build the staggers, because you don't want him to get the power gains. Obviously, this node has 100% uh, extra power gain. So I'm only going to be doing one hit. Uh, Doom steals the power gains. Um, if you if he triggers it while he's staggered, so it's easy to get a bunch of power. Uh, I think here actually I probably do a five hit combo, um, or four hit combo, and then the heavy. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have thrown the SP3. Maybe I should have waited till he got a little more power, but maybe not. That that could be wrong. Again, I really don't know. Don't know too much about Doom, unfortunately. Uh, I don't have a six star because uh, well I'm not lucky. So butcher the combo again here, I believe, or maybe here. This one I actually kind of got it. I uh, wasn't sure if I should use my SP2, but um, I know it hits hard, and I believe it doesn't give him power. So here he gets three bars of power, uh, but that's okay. He's you know he's respectful. He's not going to throw an SP3 against me. Uh, he knows we're trying to protect the streak. So all good there. And then that SP2 uh, is basically going to kill him. Uh, I think a couple blocked hits. And that is my war. So, yeah. The Nick Fury fight, pretty good. Uh, most of the fights after, pretty pathetic. But uh, nine fights, nine solos. Uh, can't be too upset. So let's go to the stat sheet. Stat sheet. Uh, where is it? There we go. So two wars. Uh, we are 16-0. and 0. So still got the 100% solo rate. Um, my true difficulty rating is only 1.18, which is not that high. Um, part of that, I'm kind of hurting myself. Um, if I died a little bit more, I could get my, my difficulty rating up because I've been on uh, Path 5 and Section 2, both wars. Um, but that's okay. We don't want to do that. Um, I'm still first uh, in the Alliance and in my battle group. Um, so that's pretty good. And I did get uh, another gold card uh, for being number one in war number two. So this time it was actually an earned gold card. My PR was over 13 uh, in war one. The card was amazing, uh, but I really didn't earn it. I only had like 10 power rating. Uh, so this is Corvus uh, actually bowing down to Nick. Uh, pretty ironic because uh, of course I killed him. Uh, but yeah, really cool looking card. Um, I like this one. Taters has been uh, on his game uh, with the gold cards uh, this season for me. So shout out to him for that. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this video. Sorry, this one was a little longer than usual. Um, I'm kind of turning into Taters in terms of rambling. Uh, maybe I should chill on that, but he rambles an ungodly amount and people love him. So maybe if I ramble more, people will start to like me more, but uh, I doubt it. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in war number three.